A follow up now to another story we broke first earlier this week. Rhode Island's lawsuit against software giant Hewlett Packard. It all has to do with a computer upgrade at the DMV that has dragged on for years. A judge heard arguments from both sides today. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pleiner joins us live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom with the latest developments. Jared. Shannon, the contract put the original project cost as $13.5 million, and the state says HP's request for more money would nearly double that. The state of Rhode Island suing Hewlett Packard Enterprise over an infamous DMV computer upgrade. The citizens of this state deserve a system that they have waited 10 plus years for and paid millions and millions of dollars for. The state wants a judge to stop HP from walking off the job. In filings, the state alleges HP wants almost 12 million additional dollars to finish overhauling the DMV's 80s era mainframe. The state argues HP isn't honoring its obligations. It was a contract for a fully functional system. Think about the risk to the state if it were to have agreed to something short of that. HP argues the state caused delays through poor staffing. The new system was supposed to go live in September. They're asking you to command HP to work for free when we don't cause this extra work. Tarantino says to find another contractor would take 18 months minimum and would strand Rhode Island with an ancient system. We're going to be stuck with a rotary phone. Now, the state says whoever admitted what to whom is irrelevant. HP remains in breach of that contract. The judge did not rule today. By the way, both sides after today's hearing went straight into mediation behind closed doors. For now, live outside Superior Court with the Providence Mobile Newsroom tonight, I'm Jared Planter, Eyewitness News.